I have interest why I explain this way. Okay, when you move out this room, you cannot use the internet anymore. Then what would you do? Today, we have about two billion people, including us, who can access the internet. Then it's a simple math. There's a five billion people who, doesn't, who don't have the access to the internet. That's my concern. Like uh, 10, 15 years ago, uh, I said like, uh, <laughs> the other million. Today we say the other billions. And uh, 20 years ago, I said the other thousand. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Until about five years ago, it was so difficult to provide a computer. We cannot even think about the internet. How can we provide a computer to the, uh, the other billions, five billion people, whose income is typically $100 per month, so they could spend about $10 or less. And, uh, but the whole thing changed about five years ago because of, uh, we all have a smartphone. All of a sudden, almost everybody can have a, a smartphone, first of us, and uh, uh, in the coming years, almost anybody in a uh, developing country. So the forecasting goes this way. Today, we have uh, 2 billion people with internet access, and 5 billion, 5 billion people without. In 10 years, it is the other way around. 5 billion people with internet access, 2 billion people without. Means practically anybody who needs to access the internet could access in 10 years. Then uh, what we have to do now? We have to develop uh, infrastructure. Uh, communication infrastructure and the institutional infrastructure. Otherwise, it's, we cannot use the internet properly. Like, uh, like uh, USA, the Europe, and the Japan, Korea, we spent uh, so many years to develop those infrastructure. And now, the, the rest of those world, uh, like uh, they have only five, 10, 15 years to develop those infrastructure, including uh, like, uh, say, like uh, security, which I'm working on in Africa, or the, uh, <coughs> uh, like a uh, training, human resource development, Everything you do, the first problem is not the money. We just don't have a people who can train, who can lead. So the human resource and the security, all kinds of things. So I hope you can join to develop a good global infrastructure in such a way we have to live together. Thank you.